but it really is a big thing that we need to talk about. It It's something that no one even pays attention to, or maybe Wargaming just kind of thought like, oh, this, this doesn't have an effect, like we're not going to worry about this right now. Um, but it's a big thing. People who yeah. don't feel like they're improving. So, you know, you play the game for, let's say, a year. You're brand new to the game, you're playing for a year. Okay, and this new right. guy, he's watching, let, let's say he's watching um, Petty 360. And he's watching the places this guy goes, he's watching him do this, he's watching him do that, and he's all like, wow, okay, well, I, I want to be good at the game, so what am I going to do? I'm going to copy this guy's movements to learn what he's doing and try to be better at the game and better at what I'm, you know, what I'm doing in the game, because that's kind of my goal. All right. Yet the thing is, six months down the road, all of a sudden he's like... I, I can't even get a one mark, yet I'm able to do, like, uh, 1,500 damage inside of a tier 8. And 1,500 damage, that's no slouch. Like, that is the hit points of most tier 8s in game. My light tank that I'm in right now, my LT432, is 1,100. If I did 1,500 damage in this, guess what? I made an influence. I was influential on this match, okay? Or, let's say, right. like, for instance, you, Blade, you do above 1,250 damage, you're an influence on the match. Yet, the thing is right. that these people don't have that mindset because they see people get marks, they see people with higher win rates, and they see people with all this other stuff, and they don't feel rewarded for the right. effort that they put into the game. So, you know, six months or eight months down the road, however long it is, they're just sitting there like, what? where is the incentive to continue playing? You know? Right. And it's like, a yeah, lot I, of people... And I get that, too. Yeah. I mean, you've probably gone down that same exact path. Oh, I, I had a, I had a moment where I was just like, man, why am I even playing this? You yeah. Because I mean, it just seemed like everything I did was wrong. Even, and I did. I watched a lot of videos. Yeah. It just seemed like, it just seemed like everything I did was wrong. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then another thing that he was talking about was like, the reason why he stopped playing with me, um, four years ago. Okay. Oh, there we go. Kind of spoilers. It, it's a friend of mine who quit the game. Um, Volan deleted it, and he got a hold of me last night. Uh, he, he wants to remain anonymous, so he, we're not going to include his name. But he was telling me the reason why he quit playing with me is because he enjoys competitive competitiveness among peers. But that I am I am someone that it's like my understanding of the game and everything that I do kind of takes away from feeling that satisfaction of achieving 3,000 and then realizing your platoon mate, you know, did seven. Or someone did this, you know, and it's it's like there there's no real value to it. Like, I recommend people to team up, like, all the time to learn and have more coordinated plays, but that kind of mindset in this game is really bad because the thing is, is like, Blade, you, you influence matches not by damage or by anything that's really like stand out ish you enable me to do things that I normally wouldn't be able to do you know like a, the, right. basically backup or having a guy cover my rear I, I wouldn't replace you for anybody and that's what it is but it's just that there's all this stuff going on right now in game where the mark system is messed up there's all sorts of things that are messed up damage standing is through the roof and a ton of things and your average player doesn't feel like they're good enough because only only let's say like the top five percent of players are capable of achieving these marks or you know let's like let's say it's some number but it's not a very high number of people who are capable of obtaining two three marks right now because of how just messed up everything is right you know and, and marks is not where it's at the matchmaking as well you know tier eights like for instance this match this is a pretty decent matchup right now where we're top tier. There's a lot of eights. There's a lot of. There's a couple of sevens. Honestly, the eights are overwhelming compared to the sevens, but it is what it is. And there's just all the stuff that goes on. It just it can really drag somebody down and make them not want to participate. Like this whole map to swamp thing. Like in my opinion on this map to swamp right now is <laughs> none of it's positive. Because why do we have map to swamp? Why why are they making it a task to get something that was essentially taken away? Yeah, you get where I'm coming from with that. Yep. 
Yeah, so that that's that's how I feel about that one. Um, try and get a hull down. Careful. He's ammo racked. Yeah, but he's running the auto loader. Oh, he must be extremely happy that he bounced off a light tank. But it's it's just that we have all this stuff that's going on, and there's no real way to essentially fix it. You know, like we have new players that don't feel like they're capable of doing anything proper. Yeah, we have people behind us. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and farm up this guy, track damage and direct. I'm gonna die either way. But it's just Yeah, there is <coughs> nothing that these people feel like is positive towards them. You know, because you'll you'll watch your favorite creators, you'll watch your favorite YouTubers and you want you yep. want to be as good as them, but you are just nowhere near it. Kind of like me and you. And I know I'll never be a player like you. But I do influence games, and I know I do. But mine is a... I, I don't worry about damage. Yeah. Because I want, I want to win. If I can get... If, if, uh, most of my matches, you'll see me I'll get 23... Anywhere from fifteen to three thousand tracking damage, because I mean that's where all my damage is. It's in tracking. Don't ask me why. I'm okay. just good at it. <laughs> Did you say fifteen thousand? Fifteen hundred. Okay. You didn't say 15, I, Did I I thought I heard a thousand. You, you've <laughs> done it before. Did. You make me giggle. But <laughs> Blade, that's that's but the thing about it. It's it's yeah. not all about doing the damage. You know, there's moments where it's like, if if you're a lower tier, what's the best thing that you can do against this high tier opponent? Well, what's your reload? What, what what can you do to slow them down? Um, how, how can you slow them down effectively? Well, tracks. Yep. You catch somebody coming out, coming over a hill, and they're tracked. They can't get their gun on you. They're stuck in the open. Now they have to use a repair kit, and if they back up and then get tracked again, they are just in trouble. Right. And and I do. I look at that. I look at, see... I can't pin, you know, this tank anywhere. I know I'm not going to be able to pin it anywhere. So I might as well hit his tracks. Hit his tracks and at get least, out get out of his field of view. Yep. Yeah. At least, you know, at least try to, you know, get something out of it. Try to try to be influential, Cow. yeah. No, there's it, it's just down. there it it's uh it was really weird to hear it come from him because it's just the way he talked about it, it was it was like it's been pulling at him for a long time, and he just put up with it. And I mean, this is a game that you spend money on. You know, you people yep. spend money to be competitive, and it's almost like um, you, they don't realize this, but the way that the game is set up right now, it, it's 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 extremely difficult for the average player to do anything. Yep. You know. Like marking tanks right now, I'll tell you now. There's some tanks that it's a task. It's a it's an extreme task to mark a tank. Yep. Or, I don't even try to mark a tank. I don't even try. To keep. Yeah, because I mean, you used to have like 68 percent. It dropped down to what 45. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And now you struggle to even get it back up to a one mark standing. So yeah, it's just I, uh, yeah. There, it, it's uh, I I just think it's ridiculous with everything that's going on in the game, and you know, after having someone bring that up to me and then mention like maybe the new player experience is not as good as we may think it is, and this guy's being super nice by pushing the Type 59, but oh look at that Amarek, um, we can we can seriously say thank you T20 for pushing your ally, um, just there's all the stuff that happens and no one even mentions it it's just like i don't think i've ever heard anyone stop and mention this and you know just the new player experience being brought up to me was like that makes a lot of sense because he had his son pl play the game and his son just felt like he couldn't do anything at all he couldn't influence matches he couldn't do anything to benefit his team he couldn't do anything to you know, be a positive effect. Careful when you pull right there. Um, yeah. That's what I was saying. Careful when you pull. But, no, it, it's just... There is a lot of tank destroyers back there. There is. Uh, it, it makes sense to me, though. They heard it put like that. 
Yep. Wow, that reload is insane. And then this bowler of funds is not even getting punished. Uh, that seems about right, though. The team yep. fell apart. Um, completely. I mean, yeah, instantly. completely. Back to Grouch. But I mean, I'm playing the Basante. I don't like myself right now. You know, I'm not feeling the greatest, but having that brought up to me, um, shining new light on it. It's, it is what it is. You know, there's only so much like it. it and then the peer to peer aspect of it is like playing with somebody that is, you know, is better. And I mean, I hate to say like, you know, is better, but it's the truth. There's, it's just, they don't feel like they want to play the game because they always feel like they're dragging their friends down or they're dragging stuff down. And yeah, see, see, and I look at it as, and I can understand how people would feel that way. But when I play with you, I don't really feel that way. I well, that's feel because more like, of just what we've done over the course yeah, of the past, like, I don't know, um, five years. Because I feel like some of the times I help you do what you can do. <laughs> you know, not saying that you wouldn't do it without me, because you would. But I mean, sometimes I make it where they can't do certain things to you so that you can do the things you do. Yeah. And th that, that makes, makes a sense. difference. Kind of covering your, yeah. kind of covering your butt. Yep. <laughs> um, because like I said, I get my damage when I can, you know, and, and all I'm looking for is the win. Yeah. And that's, that's what matters to some people, but you got to think like not everyone's going to think that way. For instance, like, let's say you're, you're 20 years old, you're competitive, you play Call of Duty, then, then you come to this game, and suddenly, six months down the road, you, you're still not improving. You know, like, you're, you're going to go somewhere where you feel wel welcomed, and where you feel like you can actually have an effect. Sure. And, and let's be honest, some people will only get so good at this game. Yeah. You know, I mean, but I know. The thing is, I'm, whenever... I'm, I mean, I get a little better here and there, but I mean... You know, we, we talk about only get so good, but the mark aspect, like only right. maintaining a 50%, like what does that do right. to somebody? Like it, it right. makes them feel like they're not even, like they can't even compare to the high end player base of the game. Oh yeah. When they went to the gold marks and did the gold marks the way they did, it just, and then to they, me, they ruined the mark system. Yeah. They just completely ruined it. Yeah. To the point that I. I mean, I don't even care. Most of my tanks that were close to being marked are so far away from being marked now, it's stupid. Because it, now it's a true 100% rather than a lie 90. And they ruined it. And they made it to where, like, damage inflation is just tremendous. That the only way yeah. to really content, like consistently three marked tanks is to literally be a part of the top 1% of the game. Yeah. Or to even get a three mark, you need to be within the top 1% of the game. And I mean, keep in mind, there, there are some tanks that are easier to 3 mark than others. For instance, like tech tree tanks, their their marks are actually a lot easier to obtain than a premium tank. Some premium tanks, they don't have a high damage standing because they're not played by the competitive part of the community. They're kind of just played by the average part of the community and their marks are a bit more reasonable. Um, but there's just some tanks in game that it's like the damage inflation has absolutely ruined the chances of you ever getting a three mark or every or ever even getting a one mark um for instance the cs 63 i think the last time i looked at it it was in the range of like uh three thousand average damage for a one mark yeah and that's just outrageous um at one point it was like to even get a one mark you needed like uh three thousand six hundred damage which was like the requirements for some tier nines for a three mark and some tier tens for a three mark but now it's now damage tending is starting to hit like this five thousand damage ratio and the part that confuses me is how they're able to maintain this forty five hundred five thousand damage ratio yet we have tanks that are dying immediately inside matches that are doing things immediately inside matches that just absolutely get shredded like only one team can win how is it that this person is able to achieve this much damage this often and it, it just it it ruins the average player experience nice snapshot but that 
And that's how it goes. Another thing is, like, the accuracy in game, the concealment, you know, I, I Blade, you know I've been testing um, concealment, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that trees are nowhere near as effective as bushes. Even right. though trees provide more of a larger area and should be highly effective, but they're not. Um, and then the knowledge of the game, too, which can really put somebody off just because there's so much to this game that's not even funny. And, yeah. I mean, I really don't know what to talk about now, but it's just that yeah. the way that this game is going right now, you have newer players that they say, like, there's this influx of newer players, but the question is, how long are we going to maintain those newer players before they feel inadequate? Before they feel like they can't do anything? Right. So, you know, if, if steps are not taken to actually try and uh, help out that new player experience or make it to where our average players are a bit more rewarded, uh, I don't see things going as well as they want it to go. Oh, he just got his pop top. Pop top. Pop top. Yep. Well, you have any input in that, or you think that that'd no, be enough I, to cover it? I agree with everything you just said. Yeah. 100%. Because there's only so much you can do, and unless they make it more appealing to the average player base and uh, the uh, new player base, I don't, I don't see the game maintaining super well. I see it staying inside the state that it is, which is... Um, the Discord being absolutely toxic and flooded with people that the only thing they care about is inflating their stats, yet a light tank that does 177 damage and 4,000 assist, um, his W8 is considered bad, like literally in the 300 range. So, yeah, it makes no sense, doesn't it? Yeah, like I, that's why I don't give a crap about W8 because it has no value. Um, the only value that it has is like if you're constantly going after damage. Thing is, there's no way to. Um, great support players. It, it just... It's a messed up system. That, that's all it I is. have to say about it. I agree. Uh, I agree. It is. Man, uh, I can't... I can't aim! That, that sounds about right. I'm struggling with my aiming right now. Really, really Not bad. to mention, there's some shots that I even question. Uh, that one I don't. Uh, also, our artillery and the amount of hit points they have right now is just ridiculous. You increase their fire rate, their DPM's still the same. But just look at the hit points on this guy. He's probably going to one-shot me. You know, and then I get pushed by a 430. Good job. You know, previous patch, Artillery would have been dead. Yep. Like, two times over. This is... It's outrageous, dude. Just all these little changes that have been made to the game. It, it makes sense in what he was talking about now. Just all these little things that are getting changed and just how difficult the game's going to become. Then unless you already have, like, a pre-standing ability at the game, you're just... You're not going to be able to compete. I mean, it took me how long to kill artillery? Ugh. Alright, well, I, I'd say that's about it. I'd say we covered it pretty good. Um, yeah, I would say. I mean, it's, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to get a any easier. Thing. Well, not just easier, but it's not going to get any better. And the nope. only way it's going to get better is by uh, Wargaming actually accommodating the newer players and the average players by just lowering stuff and making things easier to achieve. That way they don't feel inadequate and just quit the game because they feel like they can never have an effect. I had, I had, I actually heard, and I wish I'd, I'd, I'd have saved this and, and showed it to you. It was a video that I was, it was one of the real quick videos, like 30 second videos. But the guy said, what Wargaming needs to do, and I, w I just couldn't believe it. He goes, for people that can't play the game as well as others, is put in a aim assist 
for people that do under a certain amount of damage. Well, <laughs> the like... thing is, we, we already have an aim assist in game, and I, I don't recommend using it because it actually plays against you. Yeah. It pulls against your aim. So if you're trying to lead a target, it tries to pull against your lead. Like, it, it just plays against you. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to add to this, but... Unless it was done about the new player experience, I don't see anything really um, changing or being <laughs> better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we could say this. Anyone that has um, an opinion of your own that you would like to include in the comments, yeah, just do that. Yeah, we'd love to hear what you got to say. Or if you have friends that quit the game because they don't feel like they're able to hold up the VAR, e either or. It just sucks to hear. Other than that, you guys, thank you for uh, sitting through 21 minutes of this. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody's just, got a rant every once in yeah, a while. Yeah, right? that's all it is, just a rant. But I, I heard about it, and I got stuck in a conversation for an hour last night, and I was like, that sucks. Also, yeah, but I can, XP's but glitched it, out on Like I said, I can understand why people feel that way. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it sucks that I understand how they feel that way. Because I shouldn't understand it, but I do. Okay. That's it. All right.